There's something that's missing from our lives when we've stepped away from things like churches and other gatherings. There's a void. And that void is not going to be replaced with social media. And that void exists regardless of if someone was raised to be religious or not. We've evolved to be this way, and it'd be great if we were able to focus on a way of filling that void without it becoming religious or dogmatic. I think it would be great if we adopted something from the radical fairies, as well as the one and only redeeming quality that comes from 12-step programs, and that's those emotional sharing times. Knowing that everything that is shared at those times is confidential. One at a time, people share their feelings. It's when everyone is given the chance to figuratively or literally get on that podium and talk about what ails them, with no judgment except for positive judgment when they describe something that is truly positive. But in these places of sharing, like in the radical fairies, it'd be the heart circles, um, when someone would say something that's really positive, radical fairies have the, it sounds weird, but when there's something that, that's instead of clapping or saying yeah or interrupting, it's probably derived from the fact that a lot of gay men are made fun of for their S's. So they just made it a thing out of it. But, uh, but you know, a heart circle where people can share their feelings, I think would be a good thing for everyone. Society forces us to be out of touch with our emotions. People are uncomfortable sharing a part of themselves with others. People are even uncomfortable just holding the hand of someone they don't know. So when there are the larger groups and they're sitting in a circle or you're setting it up to be in a circle, you know, before you all sit down, you could all join hands and signify that we're all here together. And yeah, it's a frippery. It's purely symbolic, but it's also harmless and will help those who need the symbology. Another way it can be done is having this podium set up. You just have a bunch of chairs in a room and you have a podium and people can get up on the podium and speak. But these things that people share, they're all about what's in their heart, or their feelings. And knowing that people are sharing things that they would normally be uncomfortable sharing, you know, so many people sharing things like that, it allows everyone to do the same, because they might, be, might have been initially uncomfortable as well. The more that people open up, the more they and everyone else realize how much we really are the same. We simply have different histories. This kind of gathering is a beautiful tool that I have seen do wonders for people. It's the one thing I really miss out of being in the Radical Fairies. Unfortunately, a lot of the extreme sides of feminism have taken over a lot of the Radical Fairies, and people can't just have a good time anymore. There's a bunch of rules and dogma and politics attached now. As I said before, I think the Radical Fairy name Heart Circle is a great phrase for this sort of sharing experience, regardless of where it came from. I think we could all use this sort of thing. To some degree, I use YouTube to do this same sort of thing. It's very therapeutic.